Hello everyone, this is your guy Davin the Geek, and today we will be doing something called patch rendering. Okay, you might ask yourself, what is patch rendering? Well, patch rendering is a process that allows you to encode more than one video at once. Say you open up your Sony Vegas and here's these videos, for example. I have two videos. Usually, if you put them both on the timeline, they will both render out at once and it will be like one gigantic, probably, I don't know, one hour file. But let's say I want these files separate, uh, you know, just want them to themselves. So this is and this is what batch rendering is going to do. It's going to allow me to render them out as their own as their own file. So they don't have to be put together. Um, this video is based, well, it's not based. Uh, I got the idea from this user on YouTube. His name is, um, so, oh, or something. I don't know how you say it, but it, it must stand for something to tell you the truth. Um, yeah, but, um, this user right here, he makes those on video game walkthroughs and all kinds of good things like that. I suggest you check out his channel if you want to see some good video game reviews. But uh, yeah, he had a good video on batch rendering and that gave me my idea to create a video. <clears throat> okay, um, here's my take on it. Let's take these two videos. Here's one video. I'm going to bring it down to the timeline. Place it right there. And there it is, as you can see. Let's make that bigger. I don't think you would need it to be bigger, but I just wanted to make it bigger. Guess it's my OCD or something. I don't know. And then I'm going to drag my other video down here. Let it, um, you know, right here, whatever it's called, process. Okay, now I have, let me make this smaller. Sorry, but I'm on a touchpad right now on my laptop. Okay, so I have two videos, one right here and one right here. This one's pretty long, so, but it, you know, but it doesn't matter. The, what we're going to do is, you see this little yellow thing up here at the top? We're going to grab it. And depending on where you want it, you're, you're going to, me, I want it right here. So I, you're going to stretch it out to the length of this video, this first video. You see, it's stretched out. If it's not stretched out, then just find it and then just stretch it out or, or something. And press the letter R. This will bring up a region. And you can name this whatever you want. This is a video of a dog, so I'm going to call it Doggy Blah Blah, whatever. So that's one video. And I'm going to grab that same yellow thing well, with the yellow sides on. I don't know what it's called. Uh, a loop region, that's what it's called. And I'm going to stretch it all the way up to this video length right here. And I'm going to press R once again. And then name this um, anything that I want, you know. You can name whatever you want. It's your video. And there you go. It's pretty much that simple. And oh yeah, you can edit your videos out. You know, you can cut stuff out and do whatever you want. Want. So yeah, and as long as you have these region, this loop region, you're good to go. Next, here comes the um, part that's essential to this uh, video that I'm making right here for you guys. You're gonna come to options. Oops, I think you're going to come to tools and come down to scripting right here. Now, go over to batch render right here. Let it load real quick for me. I guess it's my Camtasia. Then you will get this window. Make sure to save. You want the videos to save to a place that you want it to um, go. Usually I I like my de like it to go on my desktop, but right now I'm just gonna leave it as it's default. And come over here and find one that you want. Don't just click this right here. Don't click it. It's gonna select all of these like that. You don't want that. So let's uncheck that. And what I did is I made a template myself. So I'm gonna use that template if I want it. Or you can use the template that you already have default as default that you created when you in when you brought the video into Sony Vegas when you brought the video into Sony Vegas sorry there for my bad English and then you're gonna come right here to where it says render region and there you go it's that easy and then you press okay 
and now it will start rendering the videos up. So you can take this time to you you know go to bed or something, take a you know nap or something, or you know have this render overnight, or do whatever you want. You if you have a lot of videos or a series or something that you have on YouTube, this is the perfect thing to do. You know, so you don't have to keep on making one video and one video and one video after another. You know, wasting your time. Well, it's not really wasting your time if you really like what you're doing, but you know, it can be time consuming. You know to just keep editing the video one after another so why not just do it all at once and you know go chill and go out and do something I don't know, see a movie and let this render out so yeah I'm gonna cancel that and that's how you do it it's pretty easy and I got the idea from him he did this he did a video on it on it and it was pretty helpful really helpful that that so yeah go check me out um, my channel go check out my channel that's what i meant to say and um go subscribe to me my name is davin the geek uh, i'll put an annotation here somewhere but uh yeah i hope this video has been helpful see y'all later davin the geek is out peace